Welcome back to Fox 9 Sports Now. Guys, and we got a stick that breaks. We're all on the blue line, D. Just get that deep. That's it, guys. That's it, guys. That's it, guys. That's it. That's it. Twice we had a chance. A puck on our stick on the wall, and we had no support coming across. That's it, boys. That's it, boys. Look at that. You, you always love goal scoring. No matter if you're on the ice or behind the bench, it's... Anytime that puck goes in, it's a good day for you. I also didn't realize how much I talked. <laughs> <laughs> You're a great coach. Mark Parrish, Matt Cook rejoin us. Time now to chat about their Orno Spartan team getting ready for sectional play, coming into the postseason, riding a three-game winning streak at this point. And uh, we talked to you earlier this season, and you said you were learning the ropes. Uh, how does it feel now for you? Differently, more comfortable? What's it been like? It feels like it went way too fast. I mean, we were talking about this the other day. It, you know, when you're used to an eight-month season, nine-month season, four months goes like that. I, like we got about half accomplished what we really wanted to on the season or what we spoke about before the season. But that being said, uh, it's been fun watching the kids progress, watching some of the youngsters we have, and uh, watching some of the seniors step up. It's, it's been fun. What's it been like as far as being the guy that's trying to – play with the psyche of these kids to get them to play their best. How different is that from what, where you only had to focus on yourself? Uh, that's where I lean on this guy a ton. <laughs> and we talk about, we talk a lot about how, how we would have wanted to be treated, or what would we have liked, or how would we like to be spoken to, or what's best for the team. And yeah, it's, it's I can't, yeah, thank God I have this guy. <laughs> All right, Mac, so you got involved in this. Was it an easy decision for you to, to step in there and say, yeah, I want to do this? I mean, you are still can play in the National Hockey League today if somebody called. I mean, were you weighing that possibilities, or was this something that, you know what, I want to do this? No, I, I think actually I reached out to Mark and asked, is your staff full? You know, because I want to stay involved. I, want to, I don't want to take time away. I want to be involved. And, you know, this was an opportunity for me to, you actually learn the game at a different level. And I think one of the biggest things that came out of it for me is maybe didn't realize it as much as a player, but I'm very detail-oriented. And the details matter to me more than anything else. And so, and I've recognized that now that I've coached because I preach it to the kids. And, you know, I think that it, it's a great fix and, and fit for both of us. You know, Mark's a, a great guy with the team and the players and, and handles the bench very well. And... I'm a little more systems, and you know, I can remember we're trying to teach our kids D-zone coverage, and Mark's explaining on the board, and I'm in the back going. <laughs> <laughs> I know the story. And he's like, why, <laughs> why are you shaking your head at me? I'm like, because the net front D doesn't rush out of position. And he's like, that's why I didn't play defense. <laughs> so, and I handed over the mark. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a great fit for both of us to be able to work together and you know, get to see each other work in, in a different environment. And uh, you know, one thing we talk about is, you know, it's hard to manage a couple personalities when you're playing. And now as you're coaching, you're managing 15 or 20 different personalities. And so there's a challenge into figuring out what helps each kid tick. Did you think it would be this enjoyable? I was hoping, <laughs> I was hoping. Um, I, I don't know, I, 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 no, actually I didn't. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more of a headache. There were some ups and downs to it with the, the wins and losses and, and some losing streaks that I could have lived without. Uh, but that being said, uh, that's part of hockey. That's just part of life. And, and uh, I, I expected a few more parents maybe to be more vocal. I, I don't know. Maybe he's intimidating enough that, that maybe more parents <laughs> didn't step up. So, uh, What was it like for you, Matt? I mean, because you were always a guy, as you said before when we were talking in the last segment, that you were a team guy, that you were a guy that was wanted the whole room involved. And I think that's why you were so successful in the National Hockey League, that you know what, you knew it took more than just the God-given talent I have in my skates or in my hands. It's going to take all of me 100% committed to this. Yeah, I think the biggest challenge was our kids are very talented uh, and they hadn't had much of a system in place before. So we focused on that. Well, when we focused on that, they lost their compete because they were trying to play our system. So then we had to transition back into <laughs> battle level so that they could go out and compete. and. Luckily for us, right now, it's all kind of coming together at the right time. So, 
Were the kids a little bit in awe of you when you stepped onto the ice the, the first time at practice? I hope not. I mean, oh, they absolutely were because I didn't tell <laughs> Saul. It was a complete surprise. There was there was myself, Justin Pagel, the other coaches, Will Schultz, Rich Anderson. They were the only people that know well, and AD Buccaneers. But yeah, besides that, yeah, the players didn't have a clue. So they came over to me right away, and yeah, they were in awe. <laughs> so what did you tell your players about Matt? Uh, this is. Our new assistant coach, Matt Cook, listen to everything he says. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Mr. Parrish. Thank Mr. You. Cook, good to see you. And uh, I think we can still see you out on the ice. It would be nice to see you, baby. <laughs>